Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about two months ago, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out a brand new feature to the stable version of Microsoft Edge called the new tab menu. And as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and if we just take a look at one or two screenshots I took from that video, here we could see uh, it is very similar to Chrome search tabs with the upside down chevron. And as the name implies, it's found next to the new tab. And the menu gave you access to commonly used actions in the browser's tab strip, like creating tab groups, viewing your history, heading over to Bing Chat, and seeing your recently closed sites and pages in the browser. Now it seems that this feature has been removed by Microsoft in the preview versions and also the stable version. I'm not seeing it in any of my Edge browsers on any of my devices. And this seems to be a change that Microsoft hasn't officially announced. So I'm just making you aware of this in case you were using this new tab menu and have noticed that it has disappeared and you can see nowhere to be found in the stable and also nowhere to be found uh, in Microsoft Edge Canary 123, which is the latest preview version. Now, this could be region specific, so you may still have it, you may have not, but just keeping you posted, um, like we like to do, and this could be a feature that could be reintroduced because Microsoft is known to kind of just um, withdraw features in the stable version and then work on them a little bit more and then push them out again. So um, there is a chance that this may make its way back, but obviously if I get any more info, um, I will post and keep you in the loop. But if we head over to our settings in the stable version of Microsoft Edge to our appearance page, the setting has also been removed. So they've completely removed this feature. It used to be located here to enable the new tab menu between show vertical tabs for all current browser windows and show tab preview on hover. This is where the setting was and used to be located. So that's also been removed. And obviously, um, if this does roll out again or I get any more info, I'll keep you guys in the loop. And um, I personally didn't use this feature. Um, I just found it brought a little bit more clutter and was duplicating features already available in the browser. So maybe that's the reason why uh, Microsoft removed it. Maybe they were getting negative feedback. But nonetheless, I'll keep you in the loop if I get any more info. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.